So, welcome back to the channel on new land. I sent some letters out a uh, while back now and uh, emails, stuff like that, and just out the blue, the guy says, oh, it was about a year ago. I've just, I've just seen your, your email. I've got some land for you. This is one of the fields, uh, which I was gonna hit first, but I think I'll work my way further down. There's a field and there's some more fields down there. So I might actually hit this field. First target. Coming up at 24. We've got a modern 5p. One for the money box. Now it is just a flat button. But what we're looking for, we're looking for signs of life and signs of age. Now this once was gold gilt on the back might be double gilt or triple gilt uh, and that is around the 1800s so over 100 years ago so that's what we're looking for it's only a button but it shows a sign of people being on this land and that was two inches down so that's even better this one a few that. times but this is where people get caught out if they don't rotate on the target now the target isn't actually there but you think it were there, but it's not. Drag it back. There's the iron. It's, it's putting you true over the target by pinpointing, so it's false in there. The pinpoint's brought me back to here. You could also rotate. So it's come up to 45, I've given it a bit of a clean, not too sure what it is, might be modern, about 4 inches down, but there is something I did find. There was a signal I had and it was given a 75, as I come away from that signal it was given an iron grunt, so I was checking it and yeah it was iron and look what it was. Nothing fancy and it's nothing historical, it's a bit of a plough. Uh, bolt, B-O-A-T, bit off a tractor, but I'm sure that's a plough blade. Hopefully this land has been ploughed. We're going to coin really tight, really tight, 60s, 63s, really tight signal. Uh, I think it might be an half penny, bronze half penny. Point on that. Sun's coming out, it's going to piss it down all week. Oh, it's deeper. Is it? It's kind. It is a bronze kind. Oh, a bit of a mess. It's an Edward, range from 1901 to 1910. That is 1909, so a year before his death. Half penny, bronze. That's like that all the way around. Won't even need the pinpointer. Because I reckon it's going to be there because of the colour of the soil. And I reckon it. Oh, it isn't a coin. Oh, it's this thing here. Or some kind of furniture decoration. You've got the iron on this end. And then that'll be brass. So. Stiffen the fart. Oh, Stiffen the fart. Is it a coin? Things are coming up quite shallow, but we've got a bit of age to them, like over 100 years. Come on. Have I got you? It's there. It's there. Oh. Oh, you know what that is, don't you? We all 
know what that is. It's a barrel tap key. Uh, there's the hole. So, turned it. Oh, I'd walk through, turned it back, and turned it off. I don't know if it's a really old one, but I'd say 100 or so years old. And I was hoping there was going to be some kind of markings. There is something going on. But nothing. Let's give away the date as such. Okay. On the simplex, I found out Hot Rocks are 19. Which is which is good. It's low. You have to dig in if you're after the small stuff, but we'll give it a straight away. That looks like see nineteen. Got some more. There's another piece. And see, I keep these, you see. So I do tests with them and memorise. Is that another piece? I've been digging them. 14. Very. 19. Yeah, I keep them. I do tests, you see. And I get memorisation here. I, I crunch a lot up in, in the soil, in the test garden as well. But not only does it cut up 19, can you hear the hiss? It's like a sizzling bacon and that's what this machine does you can actually hear it in the audio as well as the id this come up 60s so in the bronze range is it a kai very shallow uh the items are very shallow on this field i thought it were there because the, the coloration there we are there we bloody are what's this it's a kind, but it's somewhat, it's somewhat different. I hope it's not a penny. A modern penny. Wow, oh, what's that? Nah. It's actually just a three bob bit. So 1940s in absolutely. I mean, it's near enough. It's supposed to be pentagon shape, not pentagon, but not some mold on. That's a doldle on shape and it's that's uh, nothing. Alright, another kind now. So the landowner's been going on about our shoes. Some of them can cost up to £80, the specialised ones. What do you reckon to this for an R shoe? That's overpowered. That's like an over overload zone that. I'm getting like two foot off the floor, overload zone right on top of it. Get that horseshoe out. Over the bloody moon here. That saved me a bottle of whiskey, a bottle of wine. Um, supposedly every horse, they've got a lot of disabled or damaged hoof horses on here. There's quite a few. And if you heard on the, that's that must, the, the Simplex Ultra has got an overload tone. Uh, it was just, it was only coming up 57. Uh, raised the coil to about two foot. And straight away, it was uh, a horseshoe or a big piece of iron. It's supposed to be about 80 quid, something like that. They're not cheap. And he says, oh, there'll be loads up there, so keep passing them over. Uh, just wish there was some decent history, but I've only hit a small patch. So what I'm gonna do now, let's sit car, see what I've found. <laughs> Well, I bet you've never seen anyone run so fast, have you? Uh, it's got some weight in this bag. I mean, nothing major's come up, but I was liking how, how shallow the targets were. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do next time, I'm going to come down with the, I'm going to come down with the manticore, and we're going to go through, I'm going to go in that field, and we're going to have a look at 
every target on the 2D screen. I'm going to pull back the upper and lower limits and go over where the simplex has gone. Now this machine is, I'd call it not a beginner machine, but it's an entry level money machine. Uh, so light, as light as the uh, release coil on, as light as the Deus 2. Uh, somebody says it's light as the Deus 1. Uh, you get a smaller coil. Uh, so many settings. Comes in at about 350, but 400 with the headphones. Now, you can get them from anywhere. You can get them from anywhere, but if you go to my sponsor, uh, what can I say? I'll get 5% of what you spend, so it goes towards, it goes towards Diggs Fuel, it goes towards the channel, it goes towards the giveaways. Coils, different stuff, different stuff. Most of the coils I can get, anyway. Uh, so it just helps, it helps out towards the channel, plus, I mean, you can go wherever you want, wherever's got the best deal you go to, don't you? Uh, normally, or sometimes you get loyal to a company, uh, to a, a, a dealership, you know? Spin a disc to bang on, it. next day delivery, if not, it'll be the day after. Uh, the good thing about spin a disc, I'm not too sure about other uh, manufacturers, uh, shops, uh, they do give you two pound back. Uh, every hundred pound you spend so say you got this you get six eight you get eight pound back a store credit and for newcomers when you first sign up make your first purchase you get five pound store credit uh, and I've been with them near enough two years now and they've never let me down a good thing is which I know quite a few sponsorships make you use a certain detector I can use whatever detector I want, and that's what I want, and that's why I'm spinning this. So I don't want to say, I don't want, oh, right, we're giving you a 3x a day or two, but you've got to use it, and you can't use any other detector, and you've got to make it look good, and you've got to make it, you know, stuff like that. I don't want to do that. Yeah, if you want to spin a disc, just type in History Revisited UK at the checkout. Um, this, you won't get any discounts on. You won't get any discounts off the major detectors. I did see the Garrett 400i with the carrot pinpointer for 400 odd quid, and you got 10% off that. Uh, all the coils, 10% off. All the sundries, as such, spades, uh, batteries, duh, 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 detecting related stuff, you, you get 10% off. And you fill up that, uh, fill up your voucher. With no further ado, let's get onto the finds. Yeah, the thing is when I'm in the field, I'm, I'm always trying to learn and test and compare and this, that and the other. I, I, I don't do it all on camera, so I spend a lot of time uh, fanning about just to try and find the info that I can share, uh, which always gets me when I go on digs. You know, you see people just digging and digging and digging and you're setting the camera up, this, that and the other. So we will be back and we'll be back with a multi-frequency detector, the Manticore. 